Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning member, welcome back. If you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps my channel grow. Well, today we're making this uh, great pumpkin bread that came out awesome the other day and I thought I'd share the video. Now, I've made this a uh, number of times before and now that we're in the fall season, I thought, well, what perfect timing to go ahead and make some pumpkin bread. And uh, I'll have the directions and the ingredients is uh, a little bit over the timeline and I'll be talking over the timeline as we uh, progress further into the video. But uh, this particular recipe, I'm not really sure who, who, where I get the recipe from, but I ended up rewriting it in my own words. It's something that make it easier for me to understand and how to put it all together for you guys to enjoy. And what's really great about this particular uh, recipe is if you don't want to make up the bread, you can make it into muffins. It's pretty much easy. And uh, I haven't even tried pancakes using this particular formula, formula yet, but I mean, you know, at some point maybe I will. I have some leftover puree from this particular batch, and I do want to make some more uh, recipes with that. I just got to figure out what I want to make with it. I'm thinking about making some... Uh, some stuffed muffins with uh, some cream cheese from Jennifer Vann's uh, channel. She has a uh, low carb recipes with Jennifer, has a number of uh, recipes that, uh, for us to enjoy. Let's go, ahead and go over there and support her channel. And uh, yeah, so at this point, I just took the bread out of the oven and it was, you know, let it uh, cool down on its own a little bit. And then I was uh, showing you that I was going to make a, a cream cheese topping and it took a couple of tablespoons. Of a softened Philadelphia cream cheese could be any brand of cream cheese, and then they took about uh, maybe two tablespoons of powdered uh, swerve and mixed that all in together for a topping, and it came out really, really great. And I, what I did was I ended up eating like four slices out of it, and I just put the rest of my bread into a Ziploc bag, and then I free freezing it for later on in the month when I happen to want some bread. And again, it came out really, really good, and you can typically use this uh, recipe for. Um, almost really anything and uh so yeah so i hope you'll really enjoy this oh you meant to say that you can also put uh maybe pecans on top pistachios you can mix in uh, uh raisins if you're not doing low carb keto uh, uh, just about anything it's all in your imagination stands in a way how you want to create this, this bread your way so with that being said why don't we uh just go right into the video and uh you know, talk again, I'll talk over the timeline and I'll be uh, pitching down some music uh, underneath my voice. And uh, again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Have a great day. What we got going on here, guys, we got two and a half cups of Blanche Fine Almond Flour from the Walmart brand. And uh, what we're doing right here, we're just uh, sifting it in my old-fashioned sifter. And uh, it's recommended that you uh, sift it before you use the uh, flour only just to make sure that you get any lumps out of there. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, worked out really well for me and just continue on with the process. And I was just showing you in the uh, video, I was trying to get a good video out of it. Again, I'm filming by myself, so it makes it really hard on me to try to get good angles and where I need to be. And this flower was really, really great. I love the Walmart brand. I believe it's a great value brand by Walmart. And uh, when I'm down there shopping, I usually pick up two or three brands and then I, uh, just wanted to showing you over here in the example video that you know whether or not there was any lumps in there. The Walmart brand, they're, they're pretty. It was they usually pretty good most of the time. I usually don't find any lumps in my uh, flour when I'm making a recipe. Okay, so now it's time to add the dry ingredients other than the almond flour. So I'm adding a half a cup of powdered swerve, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, one to two tablespoons of pumpkin spice and a half a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and uh, then what I do when I'm just sifting it all together with the sifter and then afterwards I get it all into the bowl I'll take my spatula and just mix it all together and combine it really really well so just follow me along with this next uh, process guys and you'll be fine this is pretty much easy recipe to put together it's just a little time consuming getting all your ingredients together and try to get them all lined up Oh yeah, then I put a pinch of salt in there as well. Now that we have all the dry ingredients in our mixing bowl, we're going to use the spatula just to mix it up a little bit there to get everything all incorporated. And I would suggest that when you're doing a recipe like this, or any recipe for that matter, uh, to get a good practice of, uh, before you uh, 
put all your wet ingredients in to get your dry ingredients fully incorporated and it makes it that much easier, easier and it also tastes a lot better getting everything all uh, combined like that. It's pretty easy. This is pretty easy guys. And what I'm doing over here is I'm just making sure I get everything out of my uh, measuring cups and stuff like that. Okay guys, now let's add our wet ingredients. We're gonna add four room temperature eggs. Just dump them right into the center of your uh, dry ingredients. And at this point, we're going to add a uh, remainder of our ingredients, which is the uh, pumpkin puree, a fourth of a cup, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, seven and a half tablespoons of avocado oil, and an optional is pumpkin uh, extract if you have it. And at this point, you can add pecans or nuts or any kind of raisins if you're not doing low carb keto. And if you just follow me along with the next process step, you'll be fine. And then when they get everything all mixed and incorporated, we're gonna take a uh, bread loaf pan and spray it with a little bit of cooking oil spray and put some parchment paper lined up inside to make like a trevis and then put our batter in and pop it into a 350 degree oven. When the knife comes out clean, it, and it should be done and hopefully we'll have a good result in taking it out of the loaf pan after it cools for a little while. And uh, yeah, so let's just keep going with the recipe. Okay, now that we got our parchment paper just about all in, why don't we go ahead and pour our batter into the uh, pan and uh, Form it into a loaf and get that going into a 350 degree oven for about 30 35 minutes or until the uh, uh, knife comes out clean and then we'll let it cool and we'll cut it together and have a piece. Our pumpkin loaf bread is done. It's time to take it out of the pan. I'm going to run a knife around it and see how easy it may come out or may not come out. Hopefully, we won't have a disaster. And uh, look at that guys, huh? And can I cook or can I cook or what? So now I'm gonna uh, take the pasha paper off on the back side of it there and kind of like flip it just to show you what the back side looks like, nice and golden brown. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna cut it and have a piece of it together. And uh, here I'm showing you that I'm gonna be making a uh, cream cheese uh, topping from using Philadelphia cream cheese. And it could be any brand of cream cheese, by the way. And then I took a tablespoon of uh, powdered uh, swerve and mixed it together on softened cream cheese and that was our uh, topping. I put two uh, ounces of cream cheese in a ramekin and I kind of softened it up a little bit in microwave and then I put, again, a uh, tablespoon or so of uh, powdered swerve and then I mixed it all up and I'm just getting ready to put it on top of the uh, couple of pieces of the uh, pumpkin bread that I cut. Okay, so now it's time to cut this bread and see how well it slices and holds together. And this kind of reminds me of the bread you buy around the Thanksgiving time or on that Pillsbury bread that we much love and dear, but we problem with that is processed and we know we want to try to stay away from it. And uh, look at that guys, huh? That really came out really fantastic. I'm just trying to center the bread in the camera to give you a better idea on what it looks like. We're going to plate it and uh, Pop a little bit of that cream cheese on top of the other. Look at that, how nice and well that spreads on the bread without breaking everything up. And it held its shape really well. It didn't collapse or anything like that when I tried to have a sample of it. And uh, it came out really, really uh, great, by the way. And uh, just letting you know, uh, I really love doing these recipes for you guys. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And there you have the final product.